Hello, future Kelton. Hi. I'm currently sick. Nothing too bad, just a cold. For a long time now when I've gotten sick, I've had the exact same ritual. That being, watch the ASAP science video on colds, proceed to down dangerous amounts of vitamins and echinacea, and then I think about how ungrateful I usually am when I am healthy. But recently I've been getting sick a lot more than I used to. This is a side effect of working with kids. Any parent will tell you that having a child sneeze directly into your mouth isn't an uncommon occurrence. And so, because because I'm sick all the time, the things that I used to do to make myself feel better when I was sick, they're really just not cutting it anymore. I've been watching this ASAP science video whenever I'm sick since 2012. And now being sick every second week, I've watched this video more in the last year than I have in all of my previous watches outside of this year combined. Not to mention I worry about overdosing on vitamins if I continuously take them. And I've come to a point in my life where I am quite thankful for my good health, even when I'm not sick. And so I've decided to shake up my sickness habit. This video is obviously something that I'm doing. I currently have a lot, a lot of academic papers that I have printed that I would like to be reading. When I'm in a state like this, there's not much that I can really do for prolong. I read The Fault in Our Stars, which I honestly found to be a funnier book than it was sad, but when it was being sad, it was deeply sad. There's a reoccurring motif in the book that says sleep fights cancer, and so while I don't have any terrible mutations like that, I have been sleeping a lot more. I've also been drinking a lot of green tea, which is nice. Another book about sickness I've been reading is We Are Our Brains by Dick Swab. This isn't about the same type of sickness that I have, but is still an interesting book when discussing different types of mental sicknesses. Swab has surprisingly unliberal views that would be labelled as liberal views, but are not technically liberal views. If we go back to like the French Revolution, when libertarianism was first established, this is not a liberal book. But in modern times, this is a liberal book. <laughs> I also have a habit of getting extraordinarily exhausted. Every cell in my body isn't producing the amount of energy that it normally would be, and so I have to take vitamin B12, which I would have to take anyway since I don't consume the poop of other animals. <laughs> As something fun and nice to say about sickness to end this video, sickness sucks dick swab.